The Lady of Shalott in the poem, she's very alone and she's got to a point where she knows if she looks out of the window she will have the curse come upon her but it's got to the point where she doesn't care about that anymore. The Lady of Shalott is one of Kerry Darlington's most celebrated originals. Now, the Wycliffe Gallery have been invited to Kerry's studio in North Wales to see unique additions being created. In 2011, I had um, a landscape board that I had started to paint and then I turned it portrait and I just saw, saw the board as something else and decided to make it into a figurative piece which became Lady of Charlotte. So I stuck to the colours that I had there. With, the, with each layer of resin, you add different tones to the skin. You know, they look three-dimensional. When it comes to the unique additions, I add the 3D on top of the print instead. Well, when I turn an original painting into a unique addition, I treat the addition as a separate piece of art. Each have unique embellishments. What I do is I take out shapes that are already in the print and I'll echo those and I like you to be able to touch them as well and I'll use metal leaf to create highlights and accent certain areas and just spend time and love on each one. From Arthurian origins to Lord Tennyson's poem and the pre-Raphaelite brotherhood in the 19th century, the Lady of Shalott continues to inspire artists. Whilst I was painting it, I felt a similar way, feeling very alone and separate at the time, and put it in the atmosphere of the Lady of Shalott. I love painting poetry. All paintings that tell a story, I just love. I love being able to look deeper into the meaning of it, 